this little toad here, which I've put near a coffee cup, my coffee cup there to show its size. He's little. He had been sitting right there. And I thought he was dead. I was afraid he was something Raphael caught deposited because he was so still. Turns out he's not dead. He's moved for after, after I moved off, he moved from there down to here. We do have black ants around and I guess he's running around eating ants or something. I think you're a horny toad. Hello, I'm Sissy. In all these years up here in Cloudcroft, 32 years, Roy and I've had this cabin. You may wonder why I speak in Roy in the present tense. That's because um, now that I know for a fact that people, when they die, it's just their body's dead, not their soul. Why do we in the English language speak in past tense of someone who has passed on? That makes it sound as if they're dead, don't exist anymore. But when, since they do exist and appear to have their same likes and dislikes, I'm going to, I speak in the present tense about anyone who's dead, um, unless I don't particularly like them or if I'm particularly glad they're dead because there are people <laughs> I do feel that way about. I'm happy to speak about them in the past tense. If I speak about them at all, I generally don't talk about anyone I don't like. Here's this toad. Today is Roy's birthday. That's why Roy's particularly on my mind. And Roy told me tons of stories about horny toads when he was growing up in Weatherford, Texas. He loved horny toads and he'd tell all kinds of stories about catching horny toads, playing with them, and of course putting them back. Uh, never hurting them. Well, I haven't even touched this thing and I'm not even sure if it is a horny toad or what it is. But I'm going to guess maybe it is. So I think this is quite a treat to see a horny toad. He doesn't talk. Hi. Hello. I'm your sissy. I'm so glad to see you. Aren't you cute? But on Roy's birthday, you show up. How about them apples? And boy, you're good at playing dead. Doesn't move an inch. Hi, horny toad, or whatever you are. You're very interesting. Now, I'm not going to try to touch you. Now, I haven't tried to touch you. I just wanted to show what you look like. Look at you. Prehistoric creature. Well, thank you for coming to visit. Bye-bye.